Hi, welcome to Nina's Kitchen again. So today I'm going to show you how to make a roast. I'm going to take you through the steps and all of that. First and foremost, you want to get a pot like this, any kind of pan you have. Put it to 350, 400 around that. So I have a really fresh roast right here. And I'll have my cameraman come a little bit closer. And what I do is I get it and I kind of go ahead and just stab it a lot so I can do the seasoning and it'll get real seasoning. Turn it around. You see that fat on here? Just kind of cut it this way because that's actually what's going to make your juices and all of that. So go ahead and cut it. I go ahead and poke it. Keep on poking it. As you see, go like this. And I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get my ingredients over here. And what I do is I go ahead and I put garlic and capers all over it. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my garlic. Go ahead and just kind of just make it really, 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 really. Just shove it in there. And like I said, you got the holes in there. So you're going to go ahead and put the holes, your garlic inside the hole there. And I take my capers, you can get medium ones, large ones, you know, whatever you, you know, your taste buds want. So we go ahead and do that. Put it around. And then we're going to get some seasoning. Um, a little bit of seasoning. Don't use too much because you're going to get the juices and stuff from it. And we have this. Put a little bit of whatever seasoning you want actually on it. Put a little bit of garlic salt. Um, I do it like this, and then I get some Italian seasoning. Of course, you gotta have Italian seasoning always. So you, when you're ready to manja manja, go ahead and eat. You'll have it ready. So we'll go ahead and do that. Top it like that. And my thing is, I don't use oil. Oops, mistake there. Just use a little bit of olive oil. You could just kind of pour a tiny, tiny bit on it. So it has a really good taste to it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we got the olive oil on it and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven probably for about 45 minutes to an hour. And we're gonna come back and show you part two. But in the meantime, while that's cooking our roast, we're gonna go ahead and do our spinach. Um, and I actually learned this from my niece, Brittany. She's the best spinach maker. So we go ahead and put uh, olive oil in here. Like I said, I don't use oil. Olive oil is much better for you. So we're going to go ahead, turn this on, have it here, and we put a lot of garlic in it. A lot of garlic in it. So go ahead and put the garlic in here. Get it ready in your pan. Um, we have this. Let me go ahead and wash my hands real quick and then go to the next step. So we have this. Wash your hands. A good cook always washes their hands after everything they're doing. So, go ahead and let this garlic saute. Actually, you know what? Let me move it to the next fryer over here so you can see it a little bit better. My cameraman will go ahead and show you a little bit better here. And go ahead and saute this. The garlic wants to be really good. You know, it's really, really good. I love garlic. Garlic is actually really good for you. It's uh, learning it, you know, like I said, I'm home today. I got to get away for a little while and stuff, but um, garlic is actually good for cancer patients, believe it or not. So it's really good to uh, eat a lot of garlic if you can. I don't know if people are allergic to it or, you know, whatever. So this is fresh spinach. This is go ahead and saute. So we're going to put the spinach in here also and let it just kind of saute with the seasoning of the garlic and let it cook and it's just like oh spinach is like one of the best things for you vegetables all that are really good this is actually like i said my niece makes the best um spinach so i kind of stole her recipe but you can do it you know any other way some people like to make spinach like they do greens or kale or you know something like that but we do it with garlic we try to do a lot of garlic in our you know while we're catering or in the home, 
you know, we're always, you know, it's real important to go ahead and wash your hands and do everything you need to. So, um, while we have that cooking, our roast is cooking also. And for me, even though we put the garlic in and stuff like that, I still like to put a little bit of spinach, uh, um, a little bit of seasoning in the spinach, excuse me. And then very little pepper, because I'm not a big pepper person, but just a little bit of pepper. So we're going to put a little bit of pepper in there. And we're going to let it cook and stuff. And we'll be back for part two. Until then, welcome to Nana's Kitchen.